you know, it says a lot today that the computers we're holding are smarter than the first computer that launched the first successful mission to space. Like that just gives you such a clear indication of the times that we live in. And it makes me think of sayings that I heard growing up that information is power. But if we're really being true to the way we live today, some people would say information technology is power. And how does that kind of change the definition of that saying? Um, well, how did we get here? And is it even a good place to be? Are we where we should be? Um, it seems that we now measure how well humanity is evolving based on what technology tools are out and, and what drives us and the need, the need for the latest and greatest. Like, who can create it? Who can create it the fastest? Who will invest in it? Who will own it? And how will it impact businesses? That just tends to be our line of thinking. And how will it impact community is not a question that everybody takes the time to ask. And that should matter, right? Right? right. OK. <laughs> it was too quiet for a minute. Um, so we want the latest and greatest. But not only do we want the latest and greatest, we want access. We want access to everything. And that gap between those who have access and those who do not is very despairing. Um, so when an elderly person walks in the store and can't take advantage of the savings because she doesn't know how to download the app, right? Or 20 kids are in line to buy the latest iPhone and the store's got three left, right? That, that turns into a meltdown live on Facebook. I mean, these are literally uh, the times that we're living in and really reflective of, of how we're choosing to live our lives. So if we're measuring our worth by our relationship to information technology, I think there's some valuable questions we need to ask ourselves. So how many people here have heard of Ice Cube? Well, only because you're my kids, but <laughs> put your hands down. I don't mean the Disney version of Ice Cube. I mean post-NWA, pre-Disney. Has anybody heard of that Ice Cube? OK, he had a very famous song called Check Yourself. Anybody know the, the lyrics of the hook? No, no. I know you're my child, so you know, but, but don't say. He said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. How many people have heard that saying? OK, so we're going to apply that to a different way of thinking tonight. Okay, And we're going to check ourselves and be an example for what we should be doing in humanity. Um, so I'm going to ask a couple questions, and with the show of hands, please raise your hand. And first, we're going to practice. This is this is a little bit of a church session. Look at your neighbor and say, "Check yourself." <laughs> All right, that works. That works. So, are electronics at the table when you're eating? R show of hands. Okay. Look at your neighbor and say, "Check yourself." Okay. When you go to a 90-minute movie, how often do you ch do you check your phone? And do you respond to text messages? Show your hands. Keep it real. <laughs> well, I know not everybody's being honest, but that's a way to check ourselves. Um, do you text more people than you actually speak to in a day? OK. Look at your neighbor and say, check yourself. <laughs> How many people here stare at their phones and can't sleep because they're still looking at them? OK. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your honesty. So Ice Cube really gives us an opportunity to look at ourselves. And I think that's what we need to do in this space. So I'm not afraid to be the oddball in the technology space and say, should we really even be doing this? It's great that we can create it. It's great that it will impact businesses. But will it serve us well? And with this race to get ahead, this new technology rat race, what are we leaving out? What have we forgotten and what's disappearing? So I encourage you guys to take the opportunities to check yourselves and to be honest with yourself about what role technology is really playing in your life. My daughter mentioned to me that every time I'm checking out at the grocery store, I never speak to the teller because I'm texting. How many opportunities, missed opportunities, do we have to just say hello and engage with someone on a daily basis? So um, again, research was something that I was really afraid of. And I didn't think I could apply to my everyday life, but I've learned about the different methods of research. So what's relevant to Ice Cube, maybe if it was 20 years ago, is still relevant to us today. And we can find a lot of lessons in our past. Thank you. Thank you.